Hey there, everyone. How are you doing today? Michael Zuber, author of One Rental at a Time. And you know what? I wanted to create a video for Ken McElroy. Ken McElroy is someone I've looked up to for a long time. He is someone uh, whose books I have read over the years. He's part of Rich Dad Hall of Fame. It's, you know, it's got tens of thousands of units worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Rock star investor. We all wish we were Ken McElroy, without a doubt. I certainly wish I was Ken McElroy. But one of the things I wanted to do in this video is I wanted to kind of, in a fun way, go back at Ken McElroy. Ken McElroy did a video several months ago talking about residential single family homes falling 40%. Uh, I have since then talked about it many times and kind of gave my opinion why I thought some of his assumptions were wrong. He was certainly wrong about his call for a fall in 2021. It's not mathematically impossible. But what I wanna do here, because what Ken did in his wonderful video was talk about single family, something I care about, something that I think is a wonderful investment for most individuals today, especially get your first or your second rental. I want to show you why multifamily, the stuff that Ken McElroy invests in, could fall 40%. Now, just like residential, not all multifamily is the same. There are regional and city differences. But again, what you are going to see in this conversation is just how easy it would be for multifamily, the stuff that Ken McElroy invests in, to fall 40%. And the reason that is important is a couple of things that most people don't know, but Ken absolutely does. First and foremost, the debt structure of residential and commercial is very different. Once you sign on the mortgage of a 30-year residential property, it does not matter what happens to the value of the house. You buy a 200K house, get a 100% mortgage, 30-year fixed, it could fall by 50%. The lender can not, can not call the loan. Commercial, you go get an asset for $100 million and it falls to $50 million, that lender will call the loan. The structure of commercial financing is very restrictive. There are lots of reasons where you could be in technical default or full-on default. There can be capital calls or equity raises, and it gets very, very messy in commercial financing if properties fall in value, which I think is very, very likely in many, many markets, which we will go through in a second. The other thing to realize is we have interest rate risk at different levels. Single family homes, residential, fourplexes and below, once you sign on that 30 year mortgage, your rate is fixed for you got it 30 years. Commercial, while there are some exceptions and Ken McElroy is without question big enough to get Fannie and Freddie loans at 30 year fixed, let's just realize that mere mortals like you and I can't. We are going to get three-year, five-year, seven, maybe 10-year fixed loans that then recast or you have to refi. And it's that refi, it's that reevaluation that can be a bugaboo because interest rates will be higher in two, three, four, five years than they are today. And with interest rates being higher, cap rates have to be higher. So there are lots and lots of issues today in commercial and multifamily. I think there is without question much larger value drops coming in multifamily than residential. And I thought we should look at them together. And again, this video is for Ken. I don't think there will be anything surprising in this video. He clearly knows the math. He clearly knows it better than me. But again, as Ken talked about residential, I am going to talk about multifamily. And to do this, we're going to have to bring up Excel because commercial is just math. It is just math. So let me bring this up for you here and we will set our baseline. So what we are going to look at here today is just an example. Feel free to put in your numbers how you would like. In essence, you can evaluate a commercial property 
very quickly. This is not a sophisticated evaluation. I'm sure Ken and his peers go into much, much, much more detail, but this is just a very quick thumbnail to show how assumptions and small tweaks in operation can crush value. And this is important because when you go back to evaluate a multifamily that drops 40%, you are either gonna have to raise equity, you know, maybe you have to put in cash, maybe you have to do a capital call, or you have a forced sell, and that will not be good. So here's the base setup. We have a 200 unit class A building. We're gonna assume rents are 1750, just to make it easy. Just to do the math for you, that's $4.2 million in gross rents. We, go, we are gonna to assume today that vacancy is 5%, 210 grand. That means net rent collections of $3.99 million. Again, in our base case, we're gonna assume operational expenses are 40%. That's maintenance, property management, insurance, taxes, things of that nature. So just shy of $1.6 million. That gives you the fancy term called NOI or net operating income. You then take that net operating income and you have it divided by your cap rate. And cap rates today are slammed. They are low, low, low. So that puts the value of this building at $47.88 million. What we are going to do now is we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna change assumptions ever so slightly. And we are gonna watch this building crater in value. So let's just scroll down. We'll do one line at a time. What the heck, let's have some fun. So again, it's still a 200 unit class A building that didn't change. But what we are gonna assume now is you have to give rent credits. You're, you know, maybe you're given a month off, whatever it is. We've seen rent drops in some cities as high as 30%. But so in this case, I'm just gonna assume a measly $50 off. Not, not horrible, but you know, it's not rent growth. A Couple other things to say, I am an operator of apartments and houses are increasing in rent today. Single or multifamily is not. Multifamily rents are flat. It's tough. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take it from 1750 to 1700. That makes gross rents now 4.08 million, right? If we remember above, what was it? It was 4.2 million. Oh, look at that. I already scrolled down. Let's pretend like you didn't see that. There we go. So the next thing is we're going to increase vacancies. Before vacancies were 5%. We're going to now bring vacancies to 9%. Again, it's not unheard of. Uh, I operated multifamily in the, before the Great Recession, and 9% vacancy was certainly possible. We were given half off rent, half off deposit, first month free. People were just buying houses left and right. We couldn't keep them full. So 9% vacancy is not unheard of. That now brings net rent to only $3.712 million. Again, what did we do? We lowered rent 50 bucks and we increased vacancies from five to 9%. Here's the deal. We also took operational expenses up to 50%. When you have a lot more vacancies, you have a lot more expenses. Unit turns suck. Every year I have had heavy unit turns, I lost money. So we are gonna bring operational expenses up to 50%. That brings the uh, expenses up to 1.856 million. Your NOI is now 1.856 million. What was it before? It was two, so it's down 500 grand. Lower rent, higher vacancies, higher expenses. All very, 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 very likely. Now what happens? Here's the big one. Cap rate goes from five to 7%. To be clear, a jump in cap rate of 2%, kind of gnarly, kind of crazy, but not impossible. You know, if interest rates go up, cap rates have to go up. Uh, again, five to 7% is abnormally big jump, 
but I wanted to show you how easy it is for an apartment building worth $47 million to fall by 40%. There you go. You take the NOI of 1.856 divided by 7% and you get a value of $28.5 million or a 40% drop in value. So again, for Ken McElroy, what would need to happen to have multifamily fall in value? Rent drops. Rent, right? You're giving rent credits, you're signing multiple yeases, all of these things. Having a lower rental amount base rent is very possible. Absolutely. Higher vacancies. Absolutely. Bad debt evictions. Absolutely possible in what we have going on right now. Operational expenses going from 40 to 50%. Absolutely possible. We are going from the best of times to the worst of times in multifamily. And then the cap rate going from five to 7%. That is, that is absolutely abnormal. Although I'm here to tell you, we have been in a crazy low interest rate world, which meant cap rates were artificially low. That is now reversing. And we could absolutely see some markets go from five to 7%. Folks, multifamily could fall 40% in value very, very, very quickly. Again, when you go back and you think about Ken McElroy's talk about residential falling 40%, he talked about all these eviction moratoriums and forbearances. And hopefully you've heard me talk about that's going to be, you know, Ken is calling for a tsunami and it's going to be a very small ripple. It's not going to happen. Banks are not. They're going to be penalized if they don't take care of uh, preventable foreclosures and the like. So in the end, I created this, this video for fun. Uh, wanted to kind of go back at Ken. I admire Ken. I think Ken McElroy is a genius. Uh, but again, you know, if you're going to come at single family, Let's, let's not forget that multifamily with very, very small changes could dramatically fall in value. Rents could fall. San Francisco, New York down 30%. Vacancies up pretty much across the board, right? People are moving to houses across the board. I have them, I know. Uh, operational expenses up. Man, when you have more vacancies and turns, expenses go up, I'm sorry. Not to mention more cleaning that you have to do in this COVID environment. And then the cap rate. Boy, oh boy, if cap rate turns against a multifamily investor, whoo, ouch. So hopefully you could see how just how easy it is for a multifamily property to fall 40%. Ken, if you ever watched this, thank you for everything you do. Your books decades ago helped me get started. I appreciate everything you've done. Keep up the great work. You're an inspiration. have gotten millions of people started on their real estate journey. I am one of them. Thank you very, very much.